Hey everyone, welcome to part 65 of my Pokemon game series in Unity. So in this video, we'll create NPCs that can give items to the player. So if I go speak to the NPC, he'll say some dialogue and he'll give us some items after that. Okay, so we we'll look at how to implement this. Special thanks to all my Patreons for making this series possible. By becoming a Patreon, you can support me and get access to the complete project files of the series. The project files also contain some advanced features that are not covered on YouTube. So let's start the video. So let's implement the feature where the NPC can give an item to the player. So it's going to be pretty similar to the pickup. So let me go to the scripts and in the inventory. I'll create a new script called item giver. All right, so this script will be attached to the NPCs that can give an item. So let's go implement this. So in the script, first we need a variable to store the item that we want to give. So I'll create a variable of item base and then I'll create a variable for the dialogue to be shown before we give the item okay so before the npc gives an item we need to show a dialogue right so we can store that in this variable all right so next i'll create a public function and this function will be a coroutine and i'll call it give item so this will take a reference to the player. Okay. So in this function, first we need to add the item to the player's inventory, right? Just like we did from the pickup. So let me do that from here. I'll say player dot get component inventory to get the inventory. And I'll call add item and pass our item. Okay. So once we add the item, we need to set a Boolean variable to indicate that this item is used. So let me create a Boolean variable over here. And by default, its value will be false. But once we give the item, we will set it to true. So next, we need to show this dialog. So actually, we need to show the dialog before giving the item, right? So let me call the show dialog function. Okay. So the NPC will show this dialog before giving the item. So next, after giving the item, we can show another dialog saying the player received this item. So since this is a single line dialog, I'll call the show dialog text function. And for the dialog, I'll say player received this item. All right. So that's all we need to do to give the item. So next, let's call this function when the player interacts with an NPC. So I'll open the NPC controller. And in here, first, we need to grab a reference to the item giver. All right. So let me cache a reference from the awake. Okay. So now, in the interact function, I'll check if the item giver is not equal to null. Then we can give the item by calling item giver dot give item. Okay. So here we need to pass the player controller. So I can get that from initiator dot get component 
player controller okay so if the item giver is not equal to null we can keep the item but we also need to check if there is actually an item inside the item giver script so this should not be null right so we should also check that and then we should also make sure that this item is not already used okay so what i'll do is i'll create a public function called can be given so this function will return true if item is not equal to null and the item is not already used okay so we can simply return this value so now in the npc controller we should also check if item giver dot can be given is true so now we'll only call this function if the item can be given and otherwise we can simply show our default dialog like before okay so let's go to unity and test this so we need to add the item giver script to our npc so i'll add the script from inside the prefab all right and by default in the prefab i won't fill any values so by default the npc won't give an item okay but if we want to give an item then we can assign an item to the slot so let's say i want to give a pokeball and then we also need to specify the dialog that should be shown before giving the item okay so let me just write dialog here okay so now the npc should give this item when we go speak to him so let me try speaking to the npc okay looks like it's not working so let's check if we made any mistake in the code okay so here's the mistake so the give item function is a core routine right so when calling it we should use yield return otherwise it won't work all right so let's try testing this now okay all right so now you can see the npc is saying the dialog that we put inside the item giver and after the dialog he will give us the pokeball okay so that's working fine and now if i speak to the npc again you can see that he won't give us the item anymore instead he'll say the default dialog that is in the npc controller okay so that's working fine so we can easily create npcs that can give item by assigning values to the item giver script and in case you don't want the npc to give an item then you can just leave these fields empty in the item giver and the npc will behave like a normal npc and show the dialog inside the npc controller okay so let me get rid of this npc so next what if you want to give multiple items so for example let's say we want to give five pokeballs to the player how can we do that so to do that in the item giver script we can add a new variable for the count of the item that we want to give so here i'll create an integer variable called count and then when adding the item to the inventory we can pass the count of the item as the second parameter okay 
so now since we can have multiple items we need to make some changes to the dialog so this will be the default dialog so let me store it in a variable called dialog text all right but if the count of the item is greater than one then we need to change the dialog a little so instead of saying player received the item we'll also append the count into this all right and i'll just make this plural okay so let me pass the dialog text variable here all right and the one last thing i want to do is the can be given function should only return true if the count is greater than zero right if the count is zero it means we don't have any item to give all right so let's go to unity and test this so in my npc i'll change the count to five and by the way we can just set the default value of count to one because that will be the most common value and we don't have to change it every time we attach the item giver script okay so let's go back to unity and test if the npc gives five pokeballs all right so currently we have five pokeballs with us so let's go talk to the npc now okay first we'll see the dialogue and here you can see he gave us five pokeballs okay so now if i check the inventory you can see that we got the five pokeballs and now in total we have 10 pokeballs okay so next the one thing i want to change is when the npc gives the item it says player received five pokeballs right so here instead of saying player we should show the name of the player right so we have the name of the player in player controller so we just have to use that instead of saying player okay so here i'll say player dot name and let me also change it over here okay so let's also do the same for the pickups so in here we don't have access to the player controller we just have the transform of the player so let's get the player controller from the transform we can simply use the get component okay and to get the name we can call the name property okay so let me show this in a variable called player name and let me use it over here all right so let's go to unity and test this okay let me go speak to the npc so now it's showing the name of the player so next let me try taking the pickup all right so here also it's showing the name of the player so in case you don't remember the name of the player is assigned in the player controller so yeah over here you can see we have assigned the name so that will be the one shown in the dialog okay so i'll stop the video here if you think this video is helpful please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel that will really help me out so i'll see you in the next video